first glance, this looks like a haunted house. Instead, these walls at one time comprised the largest mental hospital in America's history. When Greystone Park Psychiatric Hospital opened in 1876 in Morris Plains, New Jersey, it was a huge self-contained community in the secluded countryside. Wow, look at the size of this place. This place is almost 700 acres with 30 separate buildings. The most impressive of which was this one right here. You know, this had the largest foundation of any building in the world until the Pentagon was built. A weird little known fact about Graystone Hospital is that in 1961, a young man named Robert Zimmerman came here from Minnesota to visit one of his musical idols. That young singer-songwriter would soon become better known to America as Bob Dylan, and the idol he was here to see was Woody Guthrie. Woody Guthrie was the Jack Kerouac of music. His most famous song is This Land is Your Land, but more importantly, Guthrie was one of the first people to see music as a way for change. It was the Great Depression that shaped Woody's music, with songs like I Ain't Got No Home and Talking Dust Bowl Blues. What many people might not know is that Guthrie was a tortured man inside his mind and body. Woody was a victim of a hereditary condition called Huntington's disease, a degenerative illness that robs someone of their physical and mental abilities. The man who found his voice by wandering the country was found aimlessly wandering the streets, and in 1954 he was admitted to Greystone and placed in one of the hospital wings, called Ward 40. Our friend, photographer Phil Bueller, wrote a book about Woody's stay at Greystone called Wardy 40 and took us back in time through the halls that Woody Guthrie once called home. Today, Huntington's disease is much more widely known, but in the early 50s, it was harder to diagnose. When Guthrie came to Greystone, the staff thought Woody either a drunk or schizophrenic. After all, anyone in 1956 claiming they were once paid $10,000 to write a song had to be insane. Okay, Phil, so I've been walking forever. How much longer? <laughs> Not much for it further. In fact, it's just behind this door here. You ready? I'm yeah. ready. Okay. When Woody Guthrie came to Greystone in 1956, there was a population of almost 7,000 patients in a hospital designed for 600. Now the population of Greystone has dwindled to 400, and the halls that once housed thousands of patients are empty. Imagine it when the patients used to make all the furniture, so there'd be this elaborate Victorian furniture. Woody was eventually released from Greystone, but the Dust Bowl Balladeer would lose his battle against Huntington's disease in 1967. So this is uh, the hallway where Woody's room was. This is Ward 40 we're on now? Uh, that's right. So from what Woody wrote in his letters about the view from his room, this would be it. This wow. is where he could see the magic -y tree down there? Yep. You know? Not very accommodating if you ask me. Well, it's not too bad. I've seen worse. Well, Phil, thank you for the tour. This is really amazing. It seems that the reverberations of Woody Guthrie still echo through these empty holes here at Greystone. That's right, Mark. Woody ain't dead quite yet. And so ends our tour of Greystone and a little bit of Woody Guthrie history.